Hi everybody, I'm back. Uh, just here to talk to y'all. Uh, tell you thank you for all the support. I've been uh, shocked and surprised and overwhelmed and sleep deprived and everything else. I'm just uh, like a kid in a candy shop or a bull in a china place. But <laughs> no, but I'm I'm really uh, thankful and excited and, and feel appreciate the support. And I've had uh, news reporters and journalists calling me for interviews and wanting to interview me, and I'm just like so honored and humbled and. It's incredible. I never saw any of this coming. Um, you know, it's always been a dream of mine to be able to take my voice out there and, 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 and reach the masses as far as just trying to help our nation heal racially. And God knows we need to heal racially. I mean, let's let's fess up and let's own up to what's really going on. We, we're a white supremacist nation. We're a nation culturally and systemically of white supremacy. We're structured and set up that way. Everything caters to white. Now, I'm not saying that white people don't suffer, but we have the privileges because of our skin. So I'm talking about, when I talk about privilege, I'm talking about from a racial point of view. I'm not saying that you don't have pain. I'm white. I understand pain, obviously. But I'm saying that white privilege has to do with the tone of your skin and a system of supremacy that's set up based on skin tone. Now, obviously, that was set up for economic reasons so that uh, slavery could function. But, um, you know, we went over there and we took black people and we turned them into slaves and then we uh, lynched them, persecuted them, and uh, went through Jim Crow and all that segregation and went through civil rights. And now we're going through, uh, it seems like we're just repeating ourselves, to be honest, but still, um, institutionally, socially, psychologically, in the media and everywhere you can imagine our country operates in a white supremacist manner and you won't know that as white people because it's not your problem uh, you benefit from that you know it, it helps us it's it's our advantage um but um things are not fair and equal you know things are not just so i'm just here to try to help our nation heal racially and there is that thing where that there's a stigma if you don't have white skin why should it be a stigma just because you don't have white skin? Well, that's what I'm talking about. And we're all indoctrinated, y'all. From day one, every single one of us, even black people, we're bombarded with the lies and the propaganda of white supremacy. And we are. And if you think about it, you can see it. But every single one of us, I was taught, I was taught in a small town in Tennessee where I'm from. I want to say one thing real quick. Uh, the haters out there have been giving a real name out. Uh, I guess you know that I'm not whitey honky. My mama wasn't that bad. And by the way, uh, before I get onto that about my name and whitey honky and all that, um, this is the day my mama died, uh, back in 2012, 4 9 2012, April 9th, 2012. I'll never forget it. It's the saddest day of my life. My mama meant everything to me. Uh, greatest woman in the whole world to me, best mom in the world the best most incredible woman in the world and my mom was paranoid schizophrenic and i say that with pride my mom endured so much because of physical and mental problems and i watched her endure it i watched her going insane asylum but anyhow I'm sorry, but let me change the subject. She's the best mom in the world. And we've all lost somebody and I know you guys have and, and it hurts. And I hate it that we all have to die, but we do. And that's why we need to heal. That's why we need to treat each other with respect. We need to stop bullying each other. And I mean, in all ways, we need to treat each other with respect. And um, I did not have his plan to cry on camera, but um, I just want to say that we all need to treat each other with respect because we uh, are a nation that has bullied black and brown people. And we've bullied them for centuries. So as white people, simply saying, take some responsibility, own up to that fact that we have suppressed, that we have bullied black and brown people. And this is reality. If you don't believe me, ask any one of them. 99% of them will agree with me that yes, they have been oppressed, they have been discriminated against, they have endured persecution on a daily, 
weekly, monthly, some even on an hourly basis. White people, this is the truth. This is what our white culture has done to them. Please accept that fact for once, for God's sake, so that we all can heal. I'm not saying black people are superior. I'm not saying white people are inferior. I am saying we are all 100% equal in the lie of white supremacy, the lie of any ism or any supremacy, whether if it's male supremacy, religion supremacy, homophobia, xenophobia, whatever it is, it's all a lie. Everybody's created equal. Nobody on this earth is superior. As a species, are you not tired of seeing people oppressed, put down, beat down, exploited? Are you not sick of it? Think about what we've done. Think about it. White people, think about it. As a culture, I'm not saying you personally, but what has our culture done? What has our system done to people of color? What about the Native Americans? Think about it. Anyhow, I'm here today to call to action again. I want everybody. I have a vision. Let's use this great technology we have now called smartphones. Let's make a video about how you feel about race. And let's talk about owning up through responsibility, white people, of our white supremacist culture and structure our institutions and how we benefit, how we're privileged because of the color of our skin. Let's own up to it, white America. Make a video. Just tell a story. Tell how you feel and do it without being defensive. Come out of your denial. Come out of your defense. Come out of your delusion racially and come into reality. Look into the racial mirror. Think outside the white box, as I say. Let's think about it, white America. Let's change our culture. Let's take our country back. America. And when I say back, I don't mean back to white people, but I mean back to all people. Into equality and into justice, but back out of white supremacy and into justice, into equality, into fairness, into kindness. Not all white people racist. Nobody said all. I am referring to the collective. I'm referring to our culture. I'm referring to our system. I'm not saying anybody superior. Again, stop being defensive. Okay, white people? Think about it. Talk to some black people. Don't ask stupid ass questions. <laughs> Just listen to them. Befriend them. Genuinely. Listen to, them, listen to what they're saying. Listen to what they're talking about their life. Racially. Okay? So let's make some videos. Let's talk about it without a butt in it. No, yeah, yeah, white people have uh, endured persecution and slavery, but no, none of that. Let's talk about the reality of it without a butt in it, without being defensive, okay? Got that? All right. I would love to see some videos. I'd like to see videos from everybody all over social media. Imagine what it'd be like if, if white America just began to make videos and talk about openly about race. Imagine what that could do to help us heal. And that's what we're trying to do here. We're about racial healing. We're not about saying white people are bad, black people are bad, or anybody's bad. It's not about that. I'm white. I love white people. My mom was white. I love my mom. You know that. You saw me cry on camera, which is really emasculating. But that's okay. <laughs> but um, don't get me crying again. All right. So uh, anyhow, I just want to talk about that. It's about racial healing. It's not about trying to judge or stereotype white people. Stop being defensive. Again, stop being defensive, white America. We are a racist country. Let's fucking own up to it. We always have been. It's okay. We'll heal. Let's do it. Let's do it now. We ain't got time. Too much people are dying. Too many people are suffering. But anyhow, moving on. I would love to see some videos. I don't care if you're a person of color. Speak your truth. It don't matter. You have to be white. Just speak your truth. And the other thing is, black people know all this shit I'm saying. They've been living it. I can't say nothing here that a black person doesn't fucking already know. So this is for white people. <laughs> black people live it. They've been saying this shit for years. Nobody gave a damn. One, my, one white man like me, a country heavyset man from the South, comes on here and talks about race, and look what happens. Everybody's like, oh, Lord, oh, Lord, look at there, look at there. And I appreciate it, y'all, but I'm, I'm only doing what every fucking white man in this whole fucking country should be doing. Speaking the truth about race. Speaking the truth about the reality of our white supremacist culture and nation. That's all. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just speaking the truth. It's sad because everybody's bought into the lie. I'm one of the few that want to speak the truth. 
change my opinion on that. Let's, let's change America's opinion on that. Let's not be a white stereotype. White stereotype is that you're racist and ignorant racially. Let's change that. Let's show to just white people that are not ignorant racially. Let's do it. All right. Somebody walking up to my truck. No, they're going by. Okay, so um, same thing I want to say is them haters out there, they're giving out my real name. I guess you figured out my name's not Whitey Honky. <laughs> my name's not Dixon D. White, and I have a real name. And they're trying to give out my real name, and that's fine. I don't care. Uh, but uh, my name is not important. But what I've been saying is true. I'm a country boy. I was raised in a small town in Waverly. I have four-wheeler, and I ride it sometimes. I broke three ribs riding my damn four-wheeler. So, yes, I'm a country boy. I also tore my rotary cuff off my damn shoulder. Oh, my shoulder's messed up. Never did the surgery. But um, I was raised on a dirt bike in Waverly, Tennessee. I'm a country boy. I am an anti-racist. I've been a filmmaker. I've been an actor. I've been all that shit. Uh, I hope to make a movie with my vision about about race one day. That's my greatest uh, dream is to make a film about race. Uh, so anyhow, I'm putting that out there. But um, uh, what else are we going to talk about? Um, I'm a little, uh, can't seem to get my thoughts together because I'm sleep deprived. I've been, since this has happened, I've been trying to answer everybody's messages and accommodate everybody because I've been overwhelmed with love and support and blessed with it and honored and humbled. Honestly, from my heart, I'm thankful. But it's been tough trying to keep up, so I gotta take care of myself and get some sleep. So my thoughts ain't all together. But um so we talked about that, we talked about that, and uh I guess that's the main thing. I can't think of the rest of it right now. If I do, I'll make another video. But uh, anyhow, thank y'all for listening to me again, and I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And I really would like to see y'all make some videos this time. It, and also I want to thank the white people that, that has been coming around. I've been noticing white people sending me messages saying thank you and, and that's 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 so important to me just to hear that i can change a heart as far as a white person uh, black people already know and the love i'm getting from the black people has touched my soul and i'll be honest with you it's the greatest honor of my life is to have black black and brown people uh show me so much love and support uh, honest to god but when i hear a white person say that my message reached them that's breaking through walls you know that's breaking through years of indoctrination and that's that's powerful so um i appreciate y'all uh hope you make your videos and god bless you and thank you for everything and um that's all bye